All right, we're here at Cripple Creek Farm. And if you could not guess, my son-in-law is a lobsterman. I see a rooster up there. Oh, I can hear him. Right there. Oh, there they are. See the ducks? Waddle, waddle, waddle. They like to, they work their way down to the stream down here. I don't know how much water is in it right now. They like to hang out here all summer. They make their way down to the stream. Oh, it is dry, dry, dry. We've had a super dry summer. But uh, they make their way down here to the stream, hang out, float around. Still a little bit of moving water. But they hang out down here. And they make their way back up to the house, hang out for a little while, and then they come back down here again. Living the duck dream. Living the duck dream. Still getting around, she's still uh, eating. Aw, she's limping. Uh, so, uh, Chelsea has a bobcat that keeps coming in the yard and stealing some animals. So she's lost a lot of rabbits and it looks like, so Dawn's got a gimpy leg. That is not good. Looks like something, yesterday. that bobcat must have had a go at her. She's struggling, Chelsea. We're gonna have to take a look at it. You're gonna have to take a look at it, see if there's something we can do to help her. She's struggling. She was doing much better yesterday. Well. Had Emmy. So Emmy's gonna go scoop Dawn up and get her back in the coop. She's limping pretty bad, so. There we go. Go put her in the coop, baby. You can put her in the chicken, the rabbit hutch. That way she's not up. Yeah, hard to have an animal, baby. <laughs> Have you had a chance to look at her foot and see what's going on? I looked and there's nothing. So it's got a beast. So it's not like she's got an infection or anything. No. She's got something, yeah. Well, I think give her some time to heal, she'll probably heal up, I would think. Right. You know, there's, it's not like it's an infection. Or, oh, oh, oh. So she has no wound. Hi, Dawn. You're having a rough day, huh, baby? Oh, that's rough. Quite ripe. Yeah, you gotta wait for him to get ripe, babe. Uh, Michael had one the other day that was pretty soft. Yeah. Yeah, but it was like that the one only right one. there. If that one's ooh, one of those might be ripe. They're not yeah. quite. Not quite. Oh, this one could. This one is. Yeah, one. It's got a hole in the back, but that's all right. Oh, this one's ripe, Emmy. You having it? I'm just not gonna eat that part. Right. All right, taste test her out, bud. Let's see. It's perfect. Yeah. Give us a taste test. These are my favorite peaches in the whole world. I love these peaches. For 20 years, I've loved these peaches. Ooh. Yeah. They're really juicy, though. Oh, they're so good. All right, if you had to rate that peach from a 1 to a 10. 10. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they, ooh, look at been a tough year with no water. Yeah, it has been. That one's not ready. What about that one, Charles? Right Ooh, I see one up there that might be. No. Usually these trees are loaded. I mean loaded with peaches. Uh, yeah, we have like an ungodly amount. If anybody has any uh, helpful advice, I have tried and tried to get graphs and um, take starter pieces off this peach tree. I've used root hormone. I've tried everything. I cannot get anything to go. And this peach tree is on its last leg. I would really love to keep a piece of this peach tree. And even if I have to wait years for it to, you know, get produce mature peaches. enough to produce peaches, but I just love this tree and I would love to figure out how to save it 
piece of it. Anyway, so if anybody has any advice, we'll take it. Right, Charles? Yes. <laughs> the rain's starting to pick up. Who's so vocal? Is it this guy here? No. That's Boots. We're, oh, Boots! Boots used to be at Fiddlesticks Farm, and he ended up over here at Cripple Creek Farm, not because he had an injury, um, but just because process of elimination, we had too many roosters. Boots is a wonderful, wonderful rooster, and he's very kind and gentle, so with the grandkids, I felt like he was a good fit for Cripple Creek Farm. That is very steep. That is like a big drop off. Go over there. Yeah. <laughs> that is straight down. But what a wonderful space. That's been right there. Like yeah. Hang out there. It's a nice spot to go and hang out. And the ducks love it, don't they? They like go down there every day. Yeah. They love it. Literally, they go down there and then eat food. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, there he is. He's over. He's Hi, Bootsy Boots. Hi, buddy. Hi, handsome boy. How you doing? <laughs> now, do you, you don't still have Blue. I do. He's the black He's in one. there. Oh, I didn't see him. Hi, Blue. How are you? He's not very nice. No, that's why he's cooped up. <laughs> he's and then those that aren't nice we put in here. But yeah. we don't know about so those no two. hens. They're not fighting over them. Right. I only select he's the one with the one eye. The yeah. <laughs> well, that makes sense. Only nice guys. Did you hear that? Foggy. Hi, Foggy. He only has one eye. He's only got one eye. Well, he has the other one, but he's blind. So. Right. Yeah. So that's Foggy. Shut? Yep. And um, let's see, Dawn, she's limp right now with a bad foot. And oh, who else do we have? Oh, hi, Boots. Hi, buddy. Do you miss your mom? Do you miss your mom? Hi, bud. You having a good day? You are? Oh, that's great. All right, let's go check out the goats because that's what I'm excited about. Okay. They're. He oh, has a scar on his head. He does. <laughs> Let's go check it out. I don't see any rabbits right now. Are they hiding because it's raining? Oh look, there's the bunny he's in with Dawn. That's funny. Hi Bunny Boo. Now what's his name, Em? No, he has the ear. It's the ear one. He's got a floppy yeah. ear. Yeah. See? So Chelsea has a little area set up for uh, whether she's got baby chickens, baby ducks, baby rabbits, injured animals. injured animals, because she gets a lot of that here at the Creek Farm. Doesn't she, Em? Isn't that well, Emmy? Why don't you tell us about the name of Cripple Creek Farm and why it's named that? Because all, almost all of our I can't hear you, babe. Because almost all of our animals are crippled. <laughs> they all have, they all, well, not all, but there's a lot of them that have trouble. Mom has a big heart, and when somebody has an animal that has some difficulties Here, or handicaps, mom takes them in, doesn't she? So you guys kind of nurse them back to health or just give them a good life for as long as they're here, right? What's the toughest part of doing that, Em? They might die. They might die. Sometimes that happens, right? Yeah. And that's tough. I've seen you many days with teary eyes and crying because it's tough when you lose an animal, huh? But the upside is you give them the best possible life that they can have. And you spoil them and give them a good life and they're happy while they're here. And we'll get some food for our baby. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Chelsea's got an outside water spigot, which is really nice. So she's not carrying water all over the property. She's got it all set up right here. And M.E.M., who just went to get feed, um, put in a, with some help from her dad, put in a couple of strawberry patches this year. So she's pretty excited. She got a few strawberries, 
not many, but they were brand new plants this year. So next year, I'm sure they'll be loaded. So she's got one here and then she's got another one over here. And they're her favorite. Strawberries are Emma's favorite. So she's pretty pumped about that. And these are actually um, Gurney's Whoppers. And we ordered them. They had a big sale this spring. And so we ordered a bunch of those and got them started. I've had them for a few years and they do really, really well. In Maine, it's tough because we have harsh winters, but they do really well. I have had no issue. They come back every year. We have huge strawberries and a high yield. So they're great. So Emma's excited about that. Not really. Put it low. So it doesn't get rained on. Yeah. Good job, Em. Thanks, babe. Try to put it behind the ramp. Just that way she still has walking room in there. It's one of our smaller hatches. It's really just for in babies and yeah. injured. <laughs> But it's a good setup because it's a little area where they can get out and move around by themselves and not get picked on. Yeah. So that's... Aww. Ricky, Dicky, Dicky are going to see Dawn. Oh, that's so cute. Look, they all went to visit her. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Because they were way down on the other side of the property. Look. Oh. Oh, Chelsea! They're upset. They're upset. They're like, why is Dawn locked up? We're not having it. She can't really walk. But they're like stressing out over it. Where is she? I don't even see her. She's in the car. She's not even coming out. No. Yeah, she's hurting. Oh, but they're there shouting words of encouragement. Sending her well wishes, checking in on her. That is adorable. Love it. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is little foot. How fitting. Right there. See, Look. he's only got one. See, there's one, and there's the other. He just he's missing a toe. How fitting for Cripple Creek Farm. But he was born when? Uh, on the 15th. On the 15th? Oh, uh, no, 14th. He was born on the 14th. And today is the 17th. So he's yes. only a few days old. Yep. At Hi. 7 p.m. Yeah, I'm feeling him back. Hi, pretty his mom. Mom's like... This is Hi. Ellie. Hi, Ellie. She's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Checking out her baby. Making yeah, we're just something. checking out the baby. Look are you just looking at your baby. I can get this one. Uh, can you go in and get him? Maybe. Look at the little tail. Hi, because Sally. He, has, he was born on the 13th. They're a day Hi. apart. Hi. Hi, handsome boy. Hello. He also has a skull on his head. <laughs> right? That's, those are interesting markings. Hi. Hi, handsome. Oh, they're tiny. Oh. Look how little they are. Feel it. They're itty bitty. He's so soft. Oh, my. Super soft. <laughs> this is little foot he's three days old he's got two toes and he's got one toe which is so fitting for a cripple creek farm because ultimately most of the animals that end up here have some sort of issue chelsea doesn't have the ability he was born to, this way on our farm right so <laughs> chelsea doesn't have the ability to put animals down so when she knows that there's an animal in need she says bring him over i'll take him